It is a symbol of power, beauty, and seduction. Throughout history, the perception of it has varied widely. At times, it has been associated with queens, goddesses, and other powerful figures, while at other times, it has been viewed as vulgar or even sleazy and cheap. It is the Red Rouge that we are going to talk about today. So in this video, we'll explore the fascinating history of red lipstick. Stay tuned and let's get started. One of the earliest pieces of evidence of red lipstick use was approximately 5,000 years ago, and it comes from the ancient city of Ur in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, where a 5,000-year-old Sumerian poem describes a woman's lips as redder than precious stones, which some scholars believe is a reference to the use of red lipstick. In ancient Egypt, it's also believed that the use of red pigments for coloring lips dates back to 5,000 years ago, too, where both men and women used red pigments made from crushed beetles and ants to create a rich red pigment to color their lips. The use of red lipstick was considered a sign of social status and was often reserved for the wealthy and upper classes, but the shade of red used by the Egyptians was much darker than the bright red we associate with modern lipstick, and it's believed that Cleopatra was a fan of the bold hue. In the Roman Empire, the use of red lipstick became particularly popular approximately 1,960 years ago during the reign of Emperor Nero, who used to color his lips with a red pigment. The historian Suetonius wrote that Nero would apply a red ointment to his lips before performing on stage. Emperor Nero was known for his love of beauty and luxury, and he used cosmetics himself. He also enjoyed watching his wife apply her own makeup and was known to give her expensive gifts of cosmetics. Red lipstick became common among actors and performers in ancient Rome as it helped to make their expressions more visible to the audience. The ointment was made from crushed insects, which were a common source of red pigment in ancient times, and it was applied with a small brush or finger and often mixed with other ingredients, such as beeswax or animal fats, to create a smooth texture. Also in Rome, as well as in ancient Egypt, red lipstick was popular among men and women. The use of red lipstick continued to be popular in Rome and across Europe in the centuries that followed. But it wasn't always considered a symbol of wealth and status. During the Middle Ages in Europe, red lipstick was associated with prostitution and was considered a mark of sinful behavior. This view was largely influenced by the church, which believed that makeup and other forms of adornments were sinful and considered their use to be a sign of vanity and excess, a form of deception that could lead them astray from the path of righteousness. As a result, many women who used cosmetics, including red lipstick, were often considered morally corrupt and were ostracized by society. Over time, the association between red lipstick and prostitution began to fade, and by the 16th century, it had become more socially acceptable for women of all classes to wear makeup, including red lipstick. The Elizabethan era played a significant role in making red lipstick popular again. During this time, Queen Elizabeth I of England was known for her love of makeup, particularly her use of red lipstick. She wore it herself as a symbol of her power and authority, and is said to have had a favorite shade of red, which was made from a mixture of cochineal, gum arabic, and egg white. As a result of her influence, red lipstick became fashionable among the aristocracy and upper classes in England. However, it was still considered somewhat scandalous and was often associated with loose morals and promiscuity. Despite this association, the popularity of red lipstick continued to grow, and by the 18th century, it had become a staple of fashion and beauty. In the 19th century, red lipstick became more widely available thanks to the development of synthetic dyes and the rise of the beauty industry. But in the early 20th century, something in the perception of red lipstick has changed again, and again it was attributed to prostitutes or actresses, to the point that some states in the United States banned the use of red lipstick. The ban was rooted in the belief that wearing lipstick was a sign of loose morals and sexual promiscuity, and that women who wore it were engaging in scandalous behavior. Some people believed that the bright colors of lipstick were intended to mimic the color of the vulva, and that wearing it was a way for women to advertise their sexual availability. As a result, several states, including Kansas, Indiana, and Tennessee, passed laws prohibiting women from wearing lipstick in public. 
In some cases, women who were caught wearing red lipstick could be fined or even arrested. These laws were eventually overturned, as attitudes towards makeup and women's fashion began to shift in the mid-20th century. In the mid-20th century, attitudes towards makeup and women's fashion began to change, and this led to the eventual overturning of laws that had banned the use of lipstick and other cosmetics. Women began to assert their independence and demand greater freedom in their personal choices, including their choices in fashion and beauty. The rise of the women's rights movement and the increasing prominence of women in the workforce contributed to this shift. Women began to see makeup and fashion as a means of self-expression and empowerment, rather than simply a tool for attracting male attention or conforming to societal norms. Celebrities and popular culture also played a role in changing attitudes towards makeup and fashion. Movie stars like Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn popularized glamorous and sophisticated looks that included bold lipstick and other cosmetics. The fashion industry also began to embrace a wider range of styles and colors, including bright and bold makeup. As a result of these changing attitudes, laws prohibiting the use of lipstick and other cosmetics gradually became less enforceable and eventually fell out of use altogether. So, in brief, red lipstick has a rich and complex history, with changing attitudes towards it reflecting broader societal shifts in gender roles, beauty standards, and personal expression. From ancient civilizations to modern day, red lipstick has been associated with power, sexuality, and rebellion. While it has been both celebrated and condemned, the enduring popularity of red lipstick lies in the confidence and self-expression it can bring to the wearer. As Coco Chanel famously said, if you're sad, add more lipstick and attack. Ultimately, the power of red lipstick is not in the pigment itself, but in the person who wears it and the statement they choose to make. So what does red lipstick mean to you? Is it a statement or a secret? Does it define you or make you express yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you and stay tuned.